hello there beautiful people welcome and welcome back to my channel and i'm sure y'all can tell by these bags in my hands that we've done some shopping so let me go ahead and put these down so first stop was ulta and i actually shopped the pre-black friday sale but i'll show you guys a little bit of what i got first i got a whole bunch of shea moisture products most of it is for Genesis. I'm hoping some of this will help with her eczema. Um, but I got this Shea Moisture Black, no, Shea Moisture African Black Soap um, Soothing Body Lotion with oats, aloe, and vitamin E. It is for sensitive and dry skin. So I picked that up. I also picked up the body wash to go with it because it just seems like it would help. If you guys have any tips on how to deal with eczema, let me know so I can help my baby girl because I just hate seeing her go through it. But I picked that up. I also picked up this one for me. This is the Daily Hydration Body Wash with coconut milk and something. I, I don't know how to pronounce this. Something from Senegal. It softens and restores. So now that we're going into the winter months, I figured this would be a really good thing to pick up because it'd be dry out here. So yeah, excited to try that. And I picked up the body lotion, but it's at my sister's house. So I picked up the corresponding body lotion for myself as well. Okay, also from Ulta, I picked up this Crayol Essence, which is a Haitian brand. So when I saw it in the store, of course, I was like, oh, I have to get something. Um, this is the Scalp Care. This is their Haitian Black Castor Oil Goat and Coconut Hair Milk. So just a moisturizer. I'm really excited to try this out and see how it works for my hair. Um, it says our Haitian Black Castor Oil hair milk, consists, hair milk consists of natural ingredients minus harsh chemicals that dry out the hair. pH balance of goat milk make it healthier hair care ingredient that's lightweight and creamy. So it has Haitian black castor oil, coconut, wheat, and keratin protein to help fill in the cracks in the hair and promote strong, beautiful looking hair. So I'm excited. I'm going to be using this to moisturize and seal. I'll see how Jenny's hair likes it, but I got that. From AG Naturals, you guys know I love their shampoo and conditioner. I picked up a nourishing hair mask just because I wanted to try something else from them. Um, the stuff that I've tried so far, I've really, really enjoyed. So I went ahead and picked this up. This is a snow mushroom deep conditioning hair mask. You guys know I'm on my relaxed hair journey, which I hope to share more as I learn more with you all. So I picked this up just to try a new hair mask. And of course, I had to pick up another AG Naturals Boost. Um, I love the shampoo, I love the conditioner, but I want run through the conditioner more often because I am now starting to co-wash my hair in the middle of the week. So this is what I use to co-wash my hair. And if you haven't tried this, whether you're natural or relaxed, highly recommend. This line is just everything. I also picked up this liquid lipstick from Matte. This is their Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color and I picked it up in the shade Feel So Grand. I was watching some girl on TikTok and she was wearing this and I was like, oh my gosh, that is such a beautiful red. So naturally, I picked it up. This is what they look like. I actually really like the formula on these. I have a Reels coming where I do a holiday look with this. Absolutely stunning. And then I also picked up another lip from Juvia's Place. This is in the shade Lady. It's one of their nudes. It looks like this, which I think is just such a stunning, stunning nude. This shade is always sold out, so it must be really popular. It's like a part of their peach line. I'm not even sure if y'all can see that swatch from here. But this is how it swatches. And I have been trying to get my hands on this particular shade for a really long time. And every time I go into Ulta, it's sold out. So I saw it this time at Ulta and I was like, definitely getting it while I can. And then I picked up two things from The Ordinary. One of them is a re-up. It's the Organic Cold Press Rose Hip Oil. Um, I love this oil. It is so great for my face, for my hair massaging it on my nail cuticles like this oil is really just a staple 
I always have to have it and I was running out so I picked up another one and then I saw that they had this cold pressed virgin marula oil and I really liked the drunk elephant version of this but that oil I think is like $70 so once I finished it I never repurchased it and I saw this and I was like oh I did like that oil let me give this a try and see if it's comparable if I like it um but the way that I love the, the rose hip oil, I'm sure that I'm going to love this as well. And I don't, don't have to repurchase the Drunk Elephant one. So I picked that up. And then I picked up two fragrances. Okay. So y'all remember in my Sephora wish list, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this perfume. This is, if I didn't, it was in my cart. So I don't know why I didn't mention it. But this is the Lancome Idol perfume. Marie J here on YouTube. I absolutely love her been watching her for years but she mentioned this and the way that she was describing the notes I was like oh I need it then I went into Sephora and I smelled the mini virgin which is like $51 or something and oh, I absolutely fell in love but then I was over my budget I tried to stick to my budget this year and so I left it and I was like hmm I think Ulta is gonna have some sales I'll wait to see I'll wait to see what I can find at Ulta, if I can find this at Ulta. Girl, this originally is like 90 bucks or something, maybe like $100 full price. And I got the 1.7 fluid ounce for like $60 during Black Friday. So almost half off and just $10 more than what I was going to pay for the mini version. Oh, I was so happy. I love, 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 love this scent. It's a classic floral. And the keynotes are Jasmine Absolute, Radical Rose Essence, and Clean Sapphire Accord. Which two of those I haven't heard of. So sorry if I don't know how to describe it. But it is very light, airy, super refreshing. It is a perfect everyday scent for all seasons. I highly, highly recommend this. It is described as a sophisticated yet unapologetically modern scent. This fresh floral woman's perfume bursts with notes of citrus, rose, jasmine, white musk, and is layered over a vanilla-based perfume. And the bottle is just so pretty. I haven't even showed you guys the bottle. It looks like this. And it's just so sleek, so pretty, super girly. I just, I love it. I love everything about it. And you guys see, I've already put a dent in it. And it's only been like two weeks I really 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 love this fragrance the idol perfume is for women made by women and dedicated to leaders of tomorrow pursuing new horizons and paving a new path the next one is just a re-up of a fragrance that I love but I ran out of and that is the Carolina Herrera good girl fragrance I'm sure many of you have tried this it's not new on the YouTube streets at all but it is just my, like, it was my first grown woman scent that I still love to this day. Super classy, super elegant, but this is more of a nighttime fragrance for me. So just adding it back to my collection. And I also got this on sale at Ulta for like 60 or 70 bucks, which was great. Like almost half off full price. Love that. Alright y'all, so that's everything that I picked up at Ulta. I'm going to pull the pieces off the rack in order of where I shopped. So let's start with Zara. I only I only picked up one item from Zara and that's this beautiful, beautiful top here. I think this is so pretty on. I absolutely love it. I love the crop. I love the um, tie here, which isn't even really showing. Um, and it is just straight cropped. I did think on the when I saw it that the bottom would like cinch in. But these strings are just for show. They don't like pull it tighter or anything. But I just absolutely love this. I love the print. I love the the neckline, the um, lapel on it, the sleeves, everything. Only thing that I am like, mm, I don't know, is when I've tried it on in here, in like the armpit area, it just feels a little tight. So I'm going to take it to the tailor and see if she can do anything about that for me. Um, the sleeves are a little long, so maybe she can take some material from here. I don't know. I'm not a tailor, but hopefully she can just open the sleeves up a little bit. 
but everything else fits perfectly and it's super gorgeous I think this is gonna be so pretty come spring and summer to die for I already have so many looks in my head but yeah I just paired it with some velvet biker shorts that I got from Shein for my birthday so I could show you guys but it is absolutely stunning love that next I headed over to forever 21 they were having 30% off the entire store and I found this cute pajama set I think next year is going to be my year of sleepwear like I just really want to be pretty when I'm going to sleep I think I want to start like wearing fragrances to bed like just add that extra step in like my feminine journey and so I picked up this cute pajama set because I'm trying to bake, break the habit of going to sleep in like a t-shirt and that's it like I don't know and I'm sure my man will appreciate it too if I just do a little extra you know spend a little time with myself get my nighttime routine down that's really what I'm focusing on so I saw this cute set and I thought it was beautiful um, I recently wore it in a video I've worn it to bed and it definitely does like set a different mood when you kind of put yourself together even if it's for bed so I also picked up this sweater that I have been seeing everywhere and I finally went into forever 21 and I saw it there and I absolutely love this sweater I love the neckline of it it's a super V neckline and I love the way that the shape of the um, collar is I don't know I just think it's super flattering on the sleeves balloon out so you get some balloon action going on here with the sleeves which I always think is really pretty and it's kind of cropped kind of not so you can tuck it in or you can wear it out I have just I'm in love with this super comfortable kind of oversized but just definitely has some shape it doesn't just hang off the body and I have been looking at this sweater for maybe like two months now like since September I've seen it in a couple places and I always add it to my cart and then I take it out or I just don't end up purchasing the stuff but I saw that forever 21 and immediately immediately yes immediately yes I absolutely love it now this next piece baby baby I love this is probably my favorite piece that I found at forever 21 I love this jacket so much it's this beautiful fur faux like fox gray color oh I live I live first of all it's heavy so I can only hold it up for so long for you guys but of course I will insert clips of me wearing it super heavy super comfortable I have been looking for a long fur and I don't like furs that don't have a belt so this is actually belted um, just because my frame is so small that I feel like a fur can very easily swallow me so the belted aspect of it cinches in and kind of just gives me some shape again like I just am not lost in the coat so when I saw this I was like oh I have to have it it was $70 and then I got 30% off so I think it was a really really good deal and it's really like it's a sturdy coat I think it's gonna keep me warm in these Chicago winters for when I'm like going to dinner and stuff like that all the faux fur coats that I have are either cropped or they just don't close like there's no button aspect no tie aspect so I tend not to even really wear them I should probably get rid of them I tend not to wear them in the winter time because it's cold so I love that that coat has buttons and a belt and it's super hefty and it's long and it's cute so it's a really nice way that I can dress up like if I'm going on a date night or birthday dinners in the winter time that won't like have me freezing I also picked up a couple pair of shoes so I picked up these booties they're nothing special I mean they're cute I picked one up in brown and one in neutral just because as I've been getting dressed lately I have really been able to see and identify the um, holes in my closet so pretty much all my shoes are black I do have a couple of like caramel pair but mostly everything's black white so I needed some pops and nudes in a brown just for the outfits that I was putting together. So I saw these and I was like, oh, okay, these are good. They're multifunctional. I can wear them to work. I can wear them out. And they're going to go with so many outfits. So it wasn't really an exciting purchase, just more of a necessary purchase so that I can fill the, the holes in my wardrobe. And I got another pair of black boots 
thigh high but these are like a thigh high sock boot which can go with so many things and can keep me warm in the winter time so i could just wear stockings wear this and the sock material on this boot is so thick that it's definitely going to keep me warm a cute little heel height and i just i can't wait to wear these and the last pair of shoes that I got are these cute white sandal heels. I mean, aren't they? They're just stunning. I don't know. I walked past them like three times in the store and the third time I was like, okay, I need them because I stop and look at them every time. They're super comfortable. I actually size down because they don't have a back and I don't really like my shoes sliding all over the place. But these little straps here are pretty secure and keep your feet nice and solid in the shoe. I'm going back to Puerto Rico for Afro Nation in March. So I'm thinking of taking these. It's just giving me like a really vacation, vacation shoe vibe. And for the price, I was like, yes, why not? I went over to see my girl, Mo. She's the owner of Urbanly Chic. I've mentioned them before, like I told you guys. And I picked up some things from her too. She was having a 50% off in store. She was able to get a storefront. So of course I had to pull up and I was like, let's let me shop with you sis so oh, let's just get into some of the items that i picked up so of course one of them i'm wearing today which is this shacket my first ever shacket i know i've never owned one before but it's super super cute i love the tones on it so comfortable i paired it with a faux like um a skims dupe set that i got from aliexpress and i just think it's so comfortable next I picked up this cardigan this cropped cardigan oh it is so cute you guys I'm sure you guys can see me try it on here I love that it's neutral but like still with this pop of like peachy orange here I love the pop of color on the buttons I just think it is a cute way to spice up just neutrals and it is so comfortable I absolutely love it I can't wait to wear it so many ways that I can dress this up and I also picked up this hoodie mostly because I just love the message kindness price tag zero dollars like it costs nothing to be kind to people it costs nothing to be nice and sometimes I just think people need a reminder of that because people could be just real stank sometimes I don't understand so yeah it costs nothing to be kind and I think the message of this hoodie is so cute it is a unisex hoodie so really I got it for Tay but I'm definitely gonna be wearing it <laughs> And the last thing that I picked up are these bodysuits. I picked up one in black and then she also had a cream. You guys can see how it looks in black right here. Once I saw that she had this on the site, this is what really brought me to the store because I was watching Hilo Lux. Absolutely love her. If you're not tuned into her channel, child, you need to get in tune. But I was watching a recent video of hers, either a winter fall favorites or something. And she had on a bodysuit like this and I was just like oh I need that I need that I don't know what the designer is but I clicked the link and that bodysuit no lie was like four hundred dollars and I was like oh I need it but I don't need it that bad so when I saw this this is pretty much a dupe to the bodysuit that she wore it has a sweetheart neckline her sweetheart that she had is like more of a traditional sweetheart this one has like a little bit of a dip in it but i mean this is the closest dupe that i've seen so far so immediately when i saw her post this on the website or on her instagram i was like oh i'm getting that so this is what i went in store for so i'm happy now because i couldn't spend no 400 on that bodysuit so i found a dupe for less so if you are looking for it here it is Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to follow your girl on Instagram at the Lindsay P so you can see how I style these pieces because your girl's coming with the looks. I'm coming to serve y'all the looks. So be sure to follow me on Instagram and all the links with everything that I can find will be linked down below in the description box for you guys. And I think that's it. That's it, babes. I will see you beautiful people in the next one. Smooches.